Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study the memory connection to CPU. Suppose we have a main memory of 1024 bytes. right in which 512 bytes are in of rom and 512 bytes are of ram right so here suppose there is a one single rom chip which uh, is capable of storing 512 bytes and there are four RAM chips and each RAM chip is capable of storing 128 bytes right now here the main memory is uh, capable of storing 1024 bytes it means 20 it means 2 raised to power 10 bytes okay 1024 bytes means 2 raised to power 10 bytes right so to address a byte in main memory we need the address of 10 bytes right so to address these 2 raised to power 10 bytes in main memory, we need the address of 10 bytes. Right? The 10th bit of address will specify whether the address is for RAM or ROM. If 10th bit is 0, it means the address is for RAM. If 10th bit of address is 1, it means it is for ROM chip. Right? Now, there are 4 RAM chip. Right? So, this bit 8th and 9th, they will specify that the address is for which chip, whether it is for RAM 1 chip, it is for RAM 2 chip or for RAM 3 chip or for RAM 4 chip. It is only when, when 10th bit is 0, right? When 10th bit is 0, then this 8th bit and 9th bit, they will specify the address is for which RAM chip. If uh, they are 0, 0, it means address is for RAM 1 chip. If uh, these bits are 0, 1, it means it is for RAM 2 chip. If it is 1 0, it means it is for RAM 3 chip. If it is 1 1, it means it is for RAM 4 chip. Right. Now, in case of RAM, these 7 bits will specify the address of byte in the RAM chip. Right. Because here the RAM chip, each RAM chip stores 128 bytes. It means 2 raised to power 7 byte. So to address these bytes, we need the address of 7 bits. Right? So these 7 bits specify the address of byte in RAM chip. Now in case of ROM, when the 10th bit is 1, these 9 bits specifies the address of byte in ROM chip. Now let us see the connection. Now see the connection of 4 RAM chips and 1 ROM chip with the CPU. Now these are the 10 address bits. This 10th bit will specify whether the address is for RAM chip or ROM chip. When 10th bit is 1, then the address is for ROM chip. Right? Then this 9 bit address is for ROM chip. So the complement of this 10th bit is connected to the second chip select input of room chip right so when this 10th bit is 1 the second chip select input of room 
will be zero right now there are two read write control signals this uh, read signal is the first chip select input of rom right so when a read signal is enabled and 10th address bit is one then this rom chip will be enabled because this chip will be enabled when first chip select input is one and ch second chip select input is zero right so when read signal is enabled then first chip select input is one and when a tenth bit of address is one then the second chip select input will be zero and this rom chip will be enabled then these nine bits of address they will specify the address of a byte in rom right then what happen whatever the address is specified by these nine bits at that address in the rom whatever the content is stored that will be output to the database right now if 10th bit is zero then it means the address is for ram chip it is not for rom chip right so this 10th bit is in is the is connected to the second chip select input of all ram chips right so when this 10th bit is zero then the second chip select input of all ram chips is zero right now the particular ram chip will be selected from among these four ram chips if their chip select input 1 is 1 right if their first chip select input is 1 now which of the chip among these four ram chips will be selected it depends on the value of these bit number 8 and 9 right these uh, bit 8 and 9 are input to this 2 cross 4 decoder right and uh, this decoder has four outputs first output is connected to the first chip select input of first ram chip second output is connected to the first input of first chip select input of second ram chip and third output of this decoder is connected to the first chip select input of third ram chip and fourth output of this decoder is connected to the first chip select input of fourth ram chip right so whenever this 8 9 bit they are 0 0 then this first ram chip is selected because at that case that is first uh, output of decoder will be 1 so the first chip select input of first ram chip will be 1 and since the uh, 10th bit is uh, 0 then the second uh, chip select input of uh, first ram chip is 0 so its chip select inputs are 1 0 so this ram first ram chip will be selected similarly if uh, the these bits are 0 1 right then what happen second output of the decoder will be 1 in this case the second ram chip will be selected because its first chip select input is 1 and second chip select input is 0 right now these uh, three uh, these two bits uh, will select a chip a ram chip among these four ram chips right now these are seven bits right these uh, rightmost seven bits are the address of bytes in the selected RAM chip right now these are the read write signals which are connected to the read write input lines of all RAM chips right so when a particular chip is selected right this 7 bit address is the input to that RAM chip right it is specifies the address of a byte in that RAM chip now if read signal is enabled then what will happen in that RAM chip whatever the data is stored at that address that will be output to the data bus but if write signal is enabled then what will happen in the selected RAM chip whatever the content is on a data bus that will be stored in the RAM chip at the address which is specified by these 7 bits